I absolutely love fuchsia flowers. I love the hanging baskets. I love the look, uh, the beauty of the, the green droopiness with beautiful flowers, the hummingbirds that just go all over those things throughout the summer. Um, they're amazing. And I also love that they are a mostly shade kind of plant where under a patio cover, um, some sort of covering, or just in an area of your yard where you just don't get much sun, sometimes it's hard to get the beautiful color and some of the kind of the attractive plants there um, when you don't have that sunlight there. Well, what do you do with that? So uh, these are one of those just, uh, it's a great flower, a great plant to have to add a lot of beauty to your yard or your patio or your porch or whatever. So today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, my journey of how I get hanging baskets, kind of what I do with that, and then um, also have some tips and some kind of an uh, overview of how to care for them and just make them last through spring, summer, fall, and uh, just share a little bit about what I'm experiencing, what I know, and what I've uh, kind of seen over the last several years. So uh, here we go on Futures today. So as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about fuchsia today. Uh, I'm going to talk about my journey of how I get my hanging baskets. Uh, also talk about some of the baskets I use starts for and just some comparisons. And then also talk about some care tips and things like that to make them do well from uh, spring all the way through the fall, through the frost. This first kind of half of the video, I'm going to focus more on kind of my journey and kind of what I do when I'm getting them. Uh, take you through my kind of Black Friday Christmas shopping uh, experience. And uh, I'm not a big shopper, but uh, you're going to see this is one of those things I, uh, I really enjoy. In my area here in the spring, there are different stores. They'll have sales, and I'm sure they're all over the place, all over the country. But uh, there's this one store close. It's a kind of a local chain called McLendon's here in the Washington area. And uh, they usually have one or this year they're, they're doing two Saturdays where they have this big huge sale on a Saturday morning and you can go and buy your fuchsia fl flower basket. They're super full. I mean, you can see a couple behind me. Uh, they're just starting to go crazy with flowers. So they, um, they're they healthy and they're gonna go amazing from, uh, this is uh, the start of May all the way through, oh man, October. Uh, if I remember right last year, uh, they do really well as long as you take care of them the right way. Um, and you just, if, unless you've got this great greenhouse to start them and just uh, some, the, the right time and all that, it's pretty hard to get this kind of beauty uh, that goes that long. It takes a lot of time. So uh, I go down there, I get there early before they open. Uh, I try to be one of the first ones in there, uh, partly for the selection, partly for the crowds and to get out of there. There was one year I missed the starting point and I had to come back uh, you know, a little later in the morning. And uh, I mean, the place was just packed out the streets and it, it was kind of like a Chick-fil-A drive-through um, if you've seen some of those places around here. And so let me walk you through my little journey of uh, showing up early in the morning. There was a, a video, a kind of a little teaser I, I put out of uh, kind of showing you as I was waiting at the gate. So you can go back on the channel and see that. I'll keep that up. Not necessarily the best footage, but it works. And uh, so anyway, I'll walk you through. You can kind of see a little bit of the selection that was there. I didn't want to necessarily film a bunch of people or kind of get myself kicked out of the store or bother them for videotaping, but you can see a little bit of that. Uh, and then um, let's walk through this. Here we go. So I got my fuchsias loaded up. I got eight of them and my free tomato plant. Uh, so now it's time to go ahead and pack up and head home. Um, they opened up a little early. There was some confusion on their website about when they open and the uh, manager was gracious and came and opened it up. And so back at home, I've got the baskets here behind me ready to unpack and see what's in there. So a couple things. First off, you're gonna notice, uh, let's see, over here behind me, I've got this uh, fuchsia. This is uh, from a video Oh, it's been at least a month now. Um, I got some nice starts that I went ahead and put in there. They were a good size. And did a little kind of, uh, I want to do a little comparison of this is what they look like after a month. Now, I haven't had these outside here. I've actually had these in my shed that's heated to 60 degrees minimum. Um, sometimes it'll heat up a little warmer than that if the sun's hitting the shed right. So I've had those uh, in a window hanging up uh, for the last month and just wanted to keep those things uh, growing as much as possible. They're doing well. Um, I did pinch all of them when I first planted them. I pinched all of them just so that they would kind of uh, bush out and continue to flower out with uh, just a little more growth in the kind of the center of that plant. But uh, they're doing well. It's just they're so far behind 
what you can get from the store and uh, those people who start them so early in the greenhouses, the professionals. Um, that's something I'd like to do uh, possibly next year is I want to start these things so early so that by the time mid-spring is going on, these things are going great. Um, now, uh, you spend the money if you're going to go to the store and buy them and if you get the right sale or if you get the right deal, it's not too bad. But uh, just to kind of give you a little comparison, at least this is 2022. Um, so those things were just a few bucks. That's probably uh, what I spend. Um, I think they're like a buck and a half each or so. And I put four of them in a pot. So it was probably, what is that? Uh, what, three, six? I, in fact, they're probably about eight bucks for per basket. Uh, you got the soil and uh, you know I already had the hanging basket, so that worked well. These things, this year prices went up at least 10% or so, understandably, um, I think. Well, uh, anyway, so they were 24, 23 24.99 each and uh, so you can kind of see it's it's a it's a cost that is uh, adds up real quick if you want to get a, a few of those but uh, they're already fully flowering as you'll see in a minute they're doing really well and uh, they'll just continue to flower throughout the the whole growing season so uh, it's something to kind of weigh you can start you can even start from seed cuttings I'm gonna do some playing with that this summer with a bunch of these but let's see what this thing looks like So the hanging baskets are set up around the patio. I want to give you just a quick tour, show you what I've got. Um, I've got eight that I bought yesterday. Uh, two of those are actually not going to be for me, so those are going to go away soon. Those are going to be for uh, some gift situations. Uh, so with these fuchsias, I'll kind of take you through a tour here, let you see what they look like. One thing I want you to notice is the flowers on them, or maybe even a little bit of the lack of flowers. So most of these are just starting to burst with flowers. So um, every one of these, if you look at them closely, and I'll zoom in on a couple of them, you're going to see some flowers and a lot of just about ready to burst flowers. So this is a perfect time for these. Uh, they haven't been flowering for a while. And in fact, this one is one of the few that have flowers all over it, fully opening up. Um, so these are in a perfect spot and over the next week or so, these things are all gonna be having a lot of color uh, to mix with the hanging droopy greenness of uh, the, the plant. So uh, here's a little tour and then uh, let's talk about some care. see from the tour there uh, these are in a mostly shade spot I mean I've got a fairly large patio cover where most of these are getting a good amount of coverage from that from the direct heat of the day especially in the summertime um, I've got some like on this part this is facing let's see uh, this is facing towards the east and so I get that morning Sun that will kind of come up and hit these but then by the time I'm hitting noon uh, these things are, are hitting shade. And so actually in the summertime when it gets really hot, some, uh, I may back these off a couple feet, put them a little bit more under the cover so they get the morning sun but not the heat. I've got some over on my north side that they get a little bit of morning sun and a little bit of evening sun but they're pretty much in the shade all throughout the heat of the day. And I've got four in a row. I have a, a bamboo backdrop behind them. It kind of creates a nice bar barrier, visual barrier uh, with neighbor's yard. And uh, they do really well there. And then I've got them throughout the yard uh, or throughout the patio area here um, in different spots. But definitely I keep them out of my, on my, um, 
my south side, I keep them away from that heat of the day. So I either have to back them off or I just keep them off of that side. So you want to keep them in shade or light sun, you know, morning sun, some evening sun is fine. Uh, but you don't want them, they don't, they don't need a lot of sunlight. They want more shade to do well and they will go all season long. Um, so that's one aspect. Now I use a drip system. Um, if you're not using a drip system, you want to keep these things uh, watered throughout the week. And you know, in some parts of summer, I, um, I would highly suggest, especially with being a small basket and all the all the roots in there, that you're watering them daily. Um, I'll get my drip system going soon and get those things going for the springtime. It's typically every other day I'll have them getting watered, and then I increase that to daily uh, throughout the main part of the the summer and, and warmth. And uh, also, as far as uh, the fuchsias, another tip is that these things are uh, they're fast growers and they eat a lot, and so they need to be fertilized. Uh, fairly often. What I like to use, I use just a typical Miracle Grow. I get it. Uh, I get them. At, I get it at Costco. I believe is where I get most of my Miracle Grow from. Um, and I, uh, I put it in a watering can. I think I have uh, two gallons, and I have like two tablespoons for two gallons. And I will water about once a week, maybe up to every, um, maybe up to every two weeks, but somewhere in that one to two week range, they're getting fertilized. Um, and so they do they do really well if you can keep that fertilization up. The food. Um, I think there's some other methods you could do with some slow release things like that. I've not used those and I'm sure those would work fine too, but uh, they do need to be fed, they need to be watered, they need to be in shade. So those are three big parts. Uh, a couple other small things that will help these things to keep flowering is uh, after these things grow for a while, you're going to see some little seed pods. They look like little green bean, uh, not green, uh, like the actual beans, not the, the long beans, but the, the beans inside. You'll see the, as the, after the flower, you'll have these little pods. And if you just go up and pinch those off, um, the energy will continue to shift towards flowers. So uh, that's one thing. And then if you start seeing any parts that are looking uh, kind of withered or broken or whatever, just clip those off here and there. And uh, they will drop their flowers, so typically you'll have a spot under there where every once in a while you need to blow off the, the patio or whatever else or kind of sweep those up. But uh, they'll do well on and on and on. Um, one other tip I've seen some people do is they'll take like a pencil or a, um, a screwdriver, something kind of thin, and they will kind of poke around the inside just to make sure it's almost like you're aerating the grass. Um, you're kind of getting in there just so that the water can penetrate through the different parts. With my uh, drip system, because it's kind of a slow drip, after I think I keep it on for like eight minutes, and um, after a couple minutes, I can see water dripping down through the holes for a couple minutes, and I know, okay, this thing has been well drenched uh, each morning before the day begins. So, those are a few things that will kind of help your fuchsias to do really well. Um, if you have any questions, you know, put those in the comments, and I'll try to get back to those and help out with any thoughts I've had. But uh, there's one other thing I want to take you through before we wrap this video up, and that is kind of a comparison, uh, looking at uh, buying hanging baskets versus put, doing them as starts. Uh, over here, I've got two baskets. You know, they're going to fill out over time. They're going to kind of have that nice, beautiful bush and all that come summertime. But they're a good four, six weeks or more behind what those other store-bought ones are. And uh, you know, maybe I could have started them earlier, found them. Uh, you know, the, the smaller fuchsias you can get nice and early in the season. In fact, my dad was over at his place uh, this week and he get he buys the little two inch ones and gets a couple flats and has lots of beautiful hanging baskets and planters. But uh, even those ones are, I'd say, farther behind than what these are. And so, uh, you know, if you can afford or if you can find the right deal on the hanging baskets or maybe you're just getting a couple and that works for you, great. But uh, you know, this is definitely a much more affordable way to go. By summertime, these things will be great and plentiful and all that. The little tiny fuchsias, same thing. Uh, so it's just weighing that. I think the solution is we all just need to build a greenhouse and uh, start them in our greenhouse and all that. But uh, ah, there's some other issues, but I'll have to see if I can get that going. Well, hopefully this has been helpful for you to kind of see a little bit about how I work my fuchsias and just some tips and all that stuff. But uh, again, use the comments if you got some thoughts, ideas, some things you've done. Teach me some stuff. Uh, you know, what's worked for you? Um, again, you know, I'll answer those questions in there as soon as I can. But uh, again, there's so much enjoyment and beauty and all that in creation just to see what's going on with plants. And, and uh, so uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Have a good life.